episode they watch us all on TV like New Jack City Nino. Kick cut across your face. Who wants some of me like Al Pacino? On no those, there's no sleep. You nervous man go pee pee. I said it's about to go down. You jealous man, it's envy. Who putting in that work like that? State to state, we doing that. The sons of God, we going hard. All praises to the heaven. No, we don't fold up on the press. We go harder than we ever did before. Sons of God, we gon' take the kingdom back. That's a fact. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. We in your city, state to state, place to place. Yeah, you know we on the road. We on the road. We on the road. Can't stop this word from getting out. I know that word right by now. That's too much smoke. That's too much smoke. Now I'm back to the business. Yeah, we outside. They quit to run their mouth. I 
bless your heart that's hollow. Can't be stuck out in your way, living life like it's no tomorrow. Not just your action, this world of distraction. Can't seek satisfaction, can't get caught out here. Let I live that life there in the past, I can't go back again. Right now, I like just where I'm at, this one no accident. They like you changed on me, think the same like back then. They don't know what happened, the truth is that I'm tapping. I'm a warrior.
trying to warn ya. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 11, trying to warn ya. Most High Christ bless. Hope everybody can hear me out there, man. Want to welcome everybody to once again the Battle Axe Radio Show, man. Straight out of Nashville, Tennessee, man. Hey, uh, hey, it's been a, a great week, man. It's, it's another Wednesday. Thank you all for tuning in once again. All right, we're gonna have another hot show with another hot topic, man. That so today's right. topic, man. Look, man, it was something phenomenal happened uh, last week. You know what I'm saying? When we went and explored the grounds of Alabama, I went to Mobile, Alabama, man. And the topic today, we're going to go into a 15-year-old shot. You know what I'm saying? A 15-year-old got shot. It was more than that got shot. We're going to pull up the, the clip as well. Um, but one of the uh, the little dudes, they ran over to us for help. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'll praise to the most high for that. But, you know what I'm saying? And the topic goes into the battle. At Mardi Gras, all right, um, in in Mobile, Alabama. Sure. All right, the battle at the Mardi Gras, Mobile, Alabama. Man, I ain't never been in such wickedness in my life. Right. And I done done a lot of wickedness. I done been to the club. I done reveled, and you know what I'm right saying, now. and stuff like this. But this right here, it was um, Take it was on, it, it was on another level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I'll praise to the Most High that we was there and was able to give the people the word of God they wanted to hear and mark that whole place. Right. Um, so people, a whole lot of people, they're gonna, not going to be able to say they didn't know on Judgment Day. That's All right? right. But, hey, before I get into it, man, I want to introduce a panel. got another full panel today, and I got to my left right here. You got Officer Czar. Officer Obadiah. Officer Messiah. Yeah, Officer Mordecai. All right, so all praises to the Most High, man. So y'all make sure, man, look, to like, subscribe, comment, share these videos, man. Go back and share the videos on the social media links uh, of the people that was talking crap. So that was like um, motivated me to do this show. This was like um, a lot of people talk crap about us. You know what I'm saying? People try to say we are a cult. People try to say we are a hate group. People just try to say all kind of evil about us. And it, it and the things we do and uh, our actions show contrary. You know what I'm saying? But it just be the hatred that black people have uh, for one another when they see us. You know what I'm saying? Because we come to the communities, man. We're not out there to hurt nobody. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not out there to talk bad and down on nobody. It just a lot of stuff get provoked. You know what I'm saying? Um... 
people talking crazy to us. That's on in person or on social media. Uh, Cause we know what we stand for, man. We stand for um, um, the commandments. You know what I'm saying? Keeping God's commandments. That's what That's we stand right. on. Uh, coming back to our true nationality as the Israelites. You know what right. I'm saying? Because our people, they don't know who they are. We are lost people. You know what I'm saying? We are lost people. We don't have our language no more. We don't have our uh, our dietary laws no more. We don't we don't know what to eat, what's good for us, what's not. We don't know who to marry, who to sleep with. We are a lawless people right now. You know what I'm saying? And we uh, come into the true knowledge of self. So now we are out. Uh, we learned the laws of God and what we're supposed to be doing and how to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we out there trying to teach our people how to do the same thing. That's right. All right? So um, I guess, man, look, let's open up with, uh, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. I want Leviticus 14. I mean, Leviticus 26 and start at 14. All right? This stuff right here never get old because what we saw, we understand why we was in slavery. Why were we um, had to go through the black codes and in the, in the Jim Crow and through the cocaine epidemic all the way up until now? Why are we at the bottom of society? Because we are rebellious people. That's how you know that we are the children of Israel. We are the people of the Bible without a shadow of a doubt. And this right here is not being taught in your Christian churches. You're not going to learn this in your HBCUs. You're not going to learn it uh, where else? Uh, uh, the community centers. The right, community right, right. centers. The uh, yeah. Um, politics. Yeah, and politics. You're not going to learn this nowhere but from the Israelites. All right? And we come straight out of the Bible. Just like they had them T-shirts straight out of Compton. Yeah. We come straight out the Bible. Right. And, uh, yeah, and, and yeah. to show our people that we are indeed the children of Israel. That's right. Uh, you have some? No, I was going to say, every time they got something to say, or they like in the comments talking about us, they always say, watch out for the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They always got to throw that in there. But we are literally just the Israelites. That's right. The yeah. Bible doesn't say Hebrew Israelites. Uh, yeah, right. We are the Israelites. There's no other Israelites. There's no, no right. And they like to try to put black in front of it exactly. to, yeah. to scare uh, black people. You know right. what I'm saying? Because they that's called a um, a trigger word. That's right. Yep. When they see things say black, see what they done right. to the Black Panthers, see, they make black folks scared. Yep. Wow, the black, that's something bad. Right. You know what I mean? Especially to Christians. And we are not the black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's point blank, period. Now, there are some black Hebrew Israelites out there, but there's not us. That's right. right? So, um, might, that, might I add, Cap, yeah. the Christians was the main oppositions to the Black Panthers. Right? Yeah, right. they the main oppositions to us. Right. 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 Don't y'all right. know what that right. parade, Mardi Gras parade, what was out there? Christian. A lot of Christians. Yes. Christian, bro. I didn't see no damn Muslims out there. Damn. Yeah, I didn't see no, you know, Hindu, uh, Hindus out there. Nah. And I seen a bunch of Christian, a bunch of Black Christians. There's yeah. one dude the that, that said, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got it on video. He said he was a Christian, but he was flicking us off as we was teaching. Damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I ain't going to speak like I think we got it in the video. Yeah. Christians, um, these people was following the black church, the Southern Baptist, the Church of God in Christ, yep. the Church right. of Christ. Yep. All these people are, um, they going to they gonna learn. Right. We're going to show them that they're right. evil. Yep. And they do not follow the Bible, which means that they do not follow Christ. Right. right. And they mean they're not following the Most High God. But they're following who? Satan. Satan. Right. right. They follow the devil. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to go into the scriptures today and show you why we're at the bottom of society. All right, come on, read that. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 14. But if ye will not hearken unto me. All right, so this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. All right, said if we don't listen to him. Come on. And will not do all these commandments. Uh -huh. And if ye shall despise my statutes. All right, despise the statutes meaning they despise the Bible. They cuss, they cuss you out when you're reading the Bible. Mm, they right. throw things at you. You know, they, they do all type of stuff when you're reading the Bible. They say, close that Bible. I don't want to hear that Bible. Let me hear what you got to say. Right. Right. That means they despise the Lord's statutes. Come on. And if you shall despise my statutes, uh -huh. or if your soul abhor my judgments, all right. so that ye will not do all my commandments. It says, so that we will not do God's commandments. Come on. But that ye break my covenant. All right, that we do what? Break my covenant. Right, that we break the covenant, the promise that the Israelites that we made to God that we would keep his uh, commandments, that we would obey him. We told the father that we anything that he asked us to do, we would do it. But guess what? We broke that. Come on. I also 
will do this unto you. So God said he made a promise. He said, since you did that, he said, I'm going to do this to you. Come on. I will even appoint over you terror. See, this is why the Ku Klux Klan had to get us straight. You know what I'm saying? This is why the slave masters had to get That's why we went into slavery, because we disobeyed God and he appointed over us what? Terror. Terror. Even up until this day, the black man don't know whether he's going to live or die once he get pulled over by the police. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't know uh, if you're going to live and die in your own neighborhoods. Because now, guess what? He appointed our own children to be terror. That's right. Uh, to be terrorists uh, to, to us. That's right. Our own children have become terrorists. They kill us more than the damn white man ever did. Come on. Consumption and the burning aid uh -huh. that shall consume the eye uh -huh. and cause sorrow of heart. Uh -huh. And cause what? Sorrow of heart. This is why we depressed. This is why you need the damn weed. This is why you need the cocaine, the alcohol, the cigarettes. Why? Because we are what? Sorrow of heart. We are the, uh, a depressed people. All right, come on. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, uh -huh. for your enemies shall eat it. This is why we ain't got nothing in our community, because anything we uh, have accomplished, the white man had come through and what? Eating it. They done ate it up. They took it from us. What do you think integration was all about? Right. That's it. Integration was about them what? Taking what we got, and we had to go join them. Right. That's it. It was, yeah, they said, you know, they they uh they beat us and spit on us, sick their dogs mm -hmm. on us for for uh for decades, for decades out of slavery. Um and then they came up with a bright idea and say, you know what? Let's let them sit on the same toilets we sit. Yep. You know what? Let's let them come to the same high schools, uh, you know, get the same proper education we get. Move in our neighborhoods. Let's let them move yeah. in our neighborhoods. They came up with a bright idea and did what took away everything. Now, there's no more neighborhood in the black community. Right. They, it ain't no neighborhood. You got the hood. Yes, when you go to the black neighborhood, it's just a hood. Yep. Right. It ain't no neighbor no more. There ain't nobody calling the police saying, uh, 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 telling you, uh, you know, wrong things that's going on in the community no more. Yeah. Right. They selling drugs. No snitching, huh? Yeah, yeah. They don't came up with no snitching. They took the whole... The word neighbor out of hood. That's why I say you want to find us, let's go to the hood. That's right. crazy. You know you know those signs? I know y'all probably remember. They used to have the neighborhood watch signs. You right. don't yeah. really see those no more. No, huh? no, no, no. <laughs> and if you do, ain't nobody attending and the And they meetings. not calling that number either. <laughs> right. right, bring it up. Well, for real, though. And we went to a, a, a festival this week, a parade, and it was smack dead in the middle of the hood. In the hood. Yeah. And the one we went to, we know, I'm sure that's not the only, you know, we're going to get into about the Mardi Gras, the right. origins of Mardi Gras, um, and stuff like that. But he appointed over us terror. Come on. Right, right. And I will, verse 17, uh -huh. and I will set my face against you. He said since we disobeyed him, God was going to set his face. He means he was going to turn his back on us. All right? And if you're in a chat or Zoom or something like that, give us a second. We're going to give a prelude, and we're going to have callers call in. All right? Come and on. I will set my face against you, uh -huh. and ye shall be slain. Before your enemies. And this this happened to us. We was what? Slain before your enemies. We were slain before our enemies. We was killed. We was hung. Mm. All right? Before our enemies. Up until this day, we are being slain in the street by our enemies. All right? And they still holding themselves not guilty. That's right. Until this day. Hey. This is what we stand for when we go out here into the streets. For the, for the injustice done to black folk and Hispanics and the Native Americans. That's why we go to these neighborhoods. We want our people to wake up. And where there's any large gathering of black folk, y'all can get ready until Christ come back, the Israelites going to be there. You better know it. Trying to wake y'all up. Because we was one sleep too. We weren't always woke. The Most High woke us up, and he said, look, go wake up others. Matter of fact, go wake up 144,000. Hey. Right. Hey. So this thing can come to an end, man. So this is what we do. Come on, keep reading. They that hate you now he said they that what hate you so the people that love you shall reign oh, over man. you he kept on going just because he missed the, it cap yeah he oh. missed it he missed the alley -oop. all right so <laughs> they that hate thee the bible say what <laughs> they he, that hate you shall reign over you now they that love you they that hate you shall reign over you so the people that hate you is ruling over us now i know who's ruling over us here in america it's the so-called white man that's right. Now, I know who's ruling over us in Africa is the so-called white man. And in the islands, too. 
So the Bible said they that what? Hate you. So the same people that hate you what? Shall reign over you. They're going to reign over you. They're going to rule over you. That's right. They're going to give you permission to have these um, these parades and, and uh, this reveling festivals and stuff like that. Come on. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursue it. All right, and now you're going to run when nobody ain't even chasing you. Why? Because we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. All right, just for the new people who may be online, may not know this stuff was in the Bible that we was the children of Israel. And how do we know? Because we fit the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and throughout the whole Bible. All right? The Jews are black. All right? Christ is black. God is black according to the Bible. We can prove it with the scriptures. And this is why we come out, uh, go out to the neighborhoods to tell the people because somehow— uh, we've been lied to, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Somehow we think that Jesus is a white man, long hair, blue eyes. Somehow we think it don't matter uh, what color he is. Some uh, somebody told us that God was white. Uh, somebody told us that the real that the Jews are white. Right. You know what I'm saying? That God chosen people are white. Now that's all lies. All right. And we're gonna prove it out the Bible today. How do we know we the Israelites? God told us. He said if we disobey him, this will happen. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. All right, that, these curses. All right. You want me to read that? 15? Uh, yeah, read 15. Yes, right quick. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so the curses were going to come upon us and overtake us, meaning you can't escape from them. You can be in Memphis. Man, you can be in uh, um, Louisville, Kentucky. Right. You can be in Dallas, Texas. Right. Man, you can be in, in, in Mobile, Alabama. That's right. You ain't going to be able to escape the curses that God got for his children. Come on. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses, the punishments of God's chosen people shall be upon them for a sign. They're going to know who they are in the last days because of this sign that's going to tell them. All right, come on. And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. That's our children. Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Since we didn't want to go to God for the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. See, since we wanted to go to the Greeks. Since we wanted to go to the Romans, since we wanted to go to the Babylonians or the uh, uh, Assyrians, since we wanted to go to these people, the Persians and the Medians, we wanted to go to these people and learn about God. He said what? Thou shalt serve thine enemies. He said thou shalt serve thy enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. Come on, man. Put the right stuff on the screen, please. We ain't even got to this part yet. All right, come on. We should serve our enemies what? In hunger. Meaning that you would have to go to your enemies for food, all right? Like McDonald's or like Costco's or like uh, Piggly Wiggly. We passed one of them. I ain't seen one of them in so long, but we did pass one in Mobile. Still around. <laughs> Piggly yeah. Wiggly, uh, IG8, yep. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, Kroger's, Audi's and stuff. We got to yep. go to our enemies for these things, to even to get uh, government assistance, EBT cards. Come on. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in nakedness. And in what? Nakedness. And in nakedness. We got to go to our enemies uh, in thirst, meaning um, water, the water supply. We got to pay our enemies for that. You want a Sprite? I, we don't own that. The enemy own that. You want right. a Coca-Cola? Right. All right? You want some apple juice? You want some orange juice? Our enemies own these things. Come on. And in nakedness. Nakedness is clothing. All right? We got to go to our enemies for Clothing, whether it's Levi's, whether it's Chanel, whether it's uh, um, Polo. give me some more Polo, Polo. Ralph Lauren, Nike, George, George. yeah, Tommy Hill figure. All right, we got to go to our enemies for these things. Come on, and in want of all things. All right, and in the want of all things, we got to go to our enemies. So want of all things, meaning that to get a license to have a parade, right? You just can't go out on the street and have your own parade. Nope. All right, uh, to get a birth certificate, to get a death certificate, to get a driving license. Your passports. The you know, passport. You, you think about how heavy that is, Cap. So you can be laying there dead, but until Esau pronounce you dead, yeah. 
you ain't dead, Chad. Yeah, you right. ain't dead until the white man comes and say that the right. corner right. got to come. He got to come <laughs> out. Even if you die of natural cause at the house yeah. in the bed, he got to pronounce you dead. Right. Yeah, you ain't dead until the white man say the you're white dead. white man say you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's crazy. And speaking of that, you got to go to him for medical attention, too. Right. Yeah. So if he's slothful in the medical attention, you dead already. And you ain't dead until he say you did. Because it goes yeah, back to I don't to know money. what you just said, but anyway. But the medical attention, <laughs> you got to go to him for your life if you want to save your life. You still got to go to this man. You know what I'm saying? But if you end up dying. At the end of the day, you ain't dead until he say you dead. What right, time? Right. He, okay, yeah, he dead. And, in, and until he say you dead, you won't get that check. Right. Damn. Right. Yeah, that's right. So you won't for get insurance. It. Yeah, you won't All get right. that insurance. Money. And he won't get his check either. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got to go to our enemies for the one of all things. That's how you know that we are the Israelites. To so start your own business, you can say you're uh, you're an entrepreneur, you're a philanthrop- uh, philanthropist. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Sir. All right, so you can say you all these things, right? But you still got to go to your enemies for these things. And if you don't properly do it, what they going to do? They going to lock you up. They going to come knocking on your yes, door. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You try to bury somebody in your backyard, you want to. They gonna You're going to jail, you. buddy. You're going to jail. All right, come on. And in want of all things, uh-huh. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. All right, there we go. Finally, we got somebody over there that know the scriptures. All right. They said, and he what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. All right, so the enemy was going to put a yoke of iron upon our necks. This Who who put that on our necks? In Alabama. Mm. Mobile, Alabama. Slave trading post. Break it up. It's, off, it's in the, I uh, think it's, off the, it's in the Gulf of Mexico, right? Mm. It's down there. Right, it's, it's at the at bottom. The bottom. Yes, it's at the bottom. So I'm sure Mobile was a slave trading post. Absolutely. And when you got off that... Um, Come on, man. That's hey, right. switch, switch. All right. Um, so when you got off the slave, when you got off the slave ship, this right here was on your neck. Put it back on the screen. So real quick, Cap, uh, the Mardi Gras. That's why I say that it's it's connected with New Orleans. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because it's basically they dropped them off. If you look in the origin behind it, they dropped them off in Mobile. That's why they was the originals. And then they just kept going to New Orleans. That's why, because they both at the bottom. That's right. Right down there by the Gulf of Mexico. Right, right. All right. So, so the enemy was going to put this upon our necks. Was that it? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And we've seen a lot of destroyed people this past Saturday, Mm. this past Sabbath day. Right. They put the yokes upon our necks until we was destroyed spiritually. Right. All right. Mentally destroyed. Right. No right. longer knew who we were. Right. We, to the point we thought we was Negroes, right. that we was black folks, colored folks, Christians, Democrats, Republicans, GDs, mm. vice lords, bloods, crips. Until we were destroyed. So you thought you was a Baptist. Right. All right. So keep reading. Verse 49. No, for, give me 68. We're going to. Keep on moving. This is just for the new people who may be on. All right, come on, listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. All right, the Lord shall bring us into what? Egypt again. Unto Egypt. Egypt is synonymous for oppression, bondage. Let's show them in the Bible. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh-huh. out of the house of a bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for bondage, all right? So we disobeyed God. God said he was going to bring us back into bondage. He was going to bring us back into oppression, all right? But this time, how? Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. I right, put that on the screen, all right? We was going to come back into slavery again on ships. That's right. Cargo slave ships. All right, come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We wasn't going to see our homeland as a people no more again. Come on. And there. And there when you got off the slave ship, come on. Ye shall be sold. We was going to be what? Sold. We was going to be sold. Come on. Unto your enemies. All right, until the enemies, not our friends. All right. So this is how you know that we are the Israelites. All right, we were sold to our enemies. All right, so. Hope you understand now that we are the Israelites without a shadow of a doubt. It's too late to show that right now. All right. So now 
Let's go into the uh, let's go into the promos right quick. We was in Alabama. And Cap, I want to um, harp on what you said. How they destroyed us. You said basically through all of these means, right? And we can only really bring our money together. They destroyed us economically as well. Right. So we can only bring our money together in these wicked manners that Cap mentioned. Like, that's the only time you see black people together or try to form some type of alliance or whatever. It's through gangs, through politics, through religion. Only time black people come together, man, is in sports and parades yeah, or right. to do a, a line dance. Right. Have, All right. A, have a party. Yeah, to have yeah. a party, have, have a good time, time, a basketball game, football game. That's the only time we come together. You got to ask yourself, what is wrong with us? Why? Right. Why? You know what I'm saying? We yeah. won't come together economically. You got all these rappers that get all this money uh, in Alabama, too, uh, in, in Atlanta, uh, wherever, all yep. throughout the United States. You got yep. these uh, these athletes, right? They got all this money. Why don't they put their money together for the betterment of black people in the black community? Yeah, They can't do it. They yep. won't do it. We are under a curse. Yep. Their minds won't even – their minds can't even – I don't know, calculate or something. <laughs> yeah. Something wrong with our people. They made a pledge, Cap. They made a pledge to Esau. He said, hey, look, I'm I'm going to support bringing America together. Right. Yeah, and yeah. even even when they try, like Ice Cube, like tried to do the Negro Leagues and bring all this up back. Yeah, yeah the big biggest three. shot they right shot back now. Down. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the white man got him in a headlock now. The damn Jewish man got right. him in a headlock. You can't yeah. do nothing no more. Straight up. When they integrated us, ain't no more separating. Right. right. Ain't That's no more it. separation. Yep. All right. But no, you know, before I pulled the videos up, give me the origins of Mardi Gras. Bring it out. Because it was thousands of people down there, black folks. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure white people had their Mardi Gras. It's probably still segregated down there. I bet all, all the right. white people were downtown somewhere. And the black people was in the hood. Because I didn't see not yeah. one. I seen one white girl looking stinking out there. Yep. Stinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. wasn't stinking. Yeah. She was stinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I seen one white girl looking stinking out there trying to hang out with the niggas. Right. The niggas. Yeah. Um, Cap, that's, that's heavy what you said because it was literally smack dead in the hood. I've never seen a parade like that. Mm. And it wasn't nothing but Negroes. They was driving the trucks. And y'all see them trailers? They look like they was finna fall apart. Yeah. And it was a bunch of people on them. Yeah, for real. I, just, I, said, I feel like one of these trailers finna fall. I just kept looking. Then you got to think, Cap. They was throwing down moon pies. Yeah. I know, we got, yeah. I know that's in the origin, yeah. but yeah. they was smacking people in the head yeah. with them. Yeah, they throwing yeah. moon pies. You know you in the hood. If you, can, if you look up, you get smacked in the head with a moon pie. All right, Come so, on, hey, uh, get ready to pull the Zoom up, too. Well, I want to go into the origins of... I want to go into the origins of Mardi Gras right quick. Because a lot of people think that, uh, doing my research now, a lot of people think that the Mardi Gras started in uh, New Orleans. Mm. But it actually didn't start in New Orleans. When the white man um, colonized um, that part of Alabama, the French part of Alabama, what is it called, the French quarters? Uh, yeah, whatever French it's called. Quarters, yes, yeah, the French um, When the French took over down there, that's when the Mardi Gras came. And Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday. A lot of people didn't know that. I, I didn't know it until I read I was wondering what the Mardi Gras, what did, what's the words mean? Wow. All right, so this is the article, all right, from the history. It said nine things you may not know about the Mardi Gras. So let's go into it. All right, Mardi Gras. All right, read it, bro. All right, history.com. Number one, Mardi Gras and Carnival are the same celebrations. All right, so... Mardi Gras and Carnival, they say they are the same celebration. So people go into the islands and stuff like that, they have Carnival, which is, we say Carnival. All right, come on. Though Mardi Gras technically refers only to Fat Tuesday. All right, so this is supposed to be a whole week celebration, all right? And it's uh, Fat Tuesday is supposed to be Mardi Gras Day. Come on. The Mardi Gras season actually begins on Epiphany, a Christian holiday celebrated on January 6th. A what holiday? Christian holiday. A white man's Christian holiday. All right, this is pagan already. All right, come on. January 6th, that is otherwise known as Three Kings Day or the 12th day of Christmas. <laughs> Dang, Damn, I didn't know that. Me neither. The 12th day of Christmas. That's where they got all them songs from. I'm telling you, man, the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. That's why they go through them five golden rings and stuff. Wow. It got something to do with all this stuff right here. It's a lot of idolatry. It's idolatry. 
All right, come on. In Brazil and many other countries, this period between Epiphany and Fat Tuesday is known as Carnival, whichever name you prefer to use. Ain't that word Epiphany in the Bible? Mm. <laughs> hey, come on. Which, whichever name you prefer to use. Mm-hmm. The revelries of Mardi Gras last until midnight tonight when Ash Wednesday ushers in 40 days of Lent. All right, so the word epiphany is in the Bible, y'all. Yeah, it is. All right, so give me Mac- first Maccabees. Let's go into the Greek. This is where this stuff come from, y'all. It come from white folks, all right? Let's go into the book of Maccabees, chapter 1. Give me verse uh, 10. Yeah. Start with 7. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. All right, so this is um, talking about Alexander the Greek. All right, he ain't, he ain't the great. All right, come on, he's the Greek. Come on. Verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, uh-huh. so that their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. So when the white man became um, and and took control of things, what happened? Evils were multiplied. He in said the earth. evils were multiplied on the earth. All right, come on. And there came out of them a a wicked root. Antiochus, surname Epiphanes. His surname was what? Epiphanes. Epiphanes. So they even got a day. Named Epiphany after Antiochus. Damn. All right. What the hell is this? Was spun from Alexander the Greek. All right. So this is all, this stuff is coming from Greece. All right. What I want to show y'all about this Mardi Gras stuff, it's coming from white folks from Greece. This is not a black celebration at all. But when we got there Saturday, black people act like it was for them. Right. You know what I'm saying? They act like this is a celebration that's for black folks. It's not. Come on. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surname Epiphanes. All right, Epiphanes mean God manifested on earth. Right. Come on. Son of Antiochus the king, uh-huh. who had been a hostage at Rome. Uh-huh. And he reigned in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. The kingdom of who? The Greeks. The Greeks. So this is where this stuff is um, stemming from. All right, now go back. I'm going to show y'all this stuff is coming from Greece and, 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 and Rome. It was called the Greco-Roman era. Come on. Number two, Mardi Gras may or may not have pagan roots. Well, we know it has pagan roots. That's what? right. Ain't no may not. Come on. A popular theory holds that Mardi Gras origins lie in an ancient pagan celebrations of spring and fertility. See, spring and fertility. So they're um, celebrating the coming spring and fertility. As we always say on the show, the white men have to make up a God to worship and serve because they can't have babies every like black time, folk. Right, every time. They can't have babies. We don't die. We multiply. Right. right. They got to they gotta create gods of fertility. Well, we went over on Valentine's Day. We went over, what was that, Sally Lupercalia? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, where well, they was taking the, um, the raw hides of goats and dogs and stuff, and they was beating them with it. The thongs. Right. The yeah, thongs. the thongs. They was yeah. making thongs, <laughs> and they were beating them with it. And this what's going? Oh, I say it right here. Come on, such as Saturnalia and Lupercalia. Now Saturnalia, I think that goes into the. Uh, ain't that Easter? It's either Easter. No, or it's Christmas. Christmas. It's Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Saturnalia is Christmas. All right, and Lupercalia. All right, Lupercalia goes into the Valentine's thing. Right. All right. If you missed that show, go back and watch it. Yes, Come on. Some experts contend, however, that Mardi Gras type festivities popped up solely as a result of the Catholic Church's discouragement of... Oh, oh, okay, of, of who? Of the Catholic Church's discouragement of sex. Uh, discouragement of sex. And meat. And what? Meat. And meat, come on. During Lent. All right, give me uh, First Timothy. Yep. That these people's going to... These, these damn Catholic... Um, they false prophets. They're not... The Catholic Church is of the devil. Right. They are deceivers. First Timothy chapter four and verse one. Come on. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Uh huh. Giving heed to what? 
seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. Come on. And doctrines of devils. Uh huh. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Uh huh. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. All right. Having their conscience seared with a hot, hot iron. Come on. Forbidding to marry. All right. They were doing what? Forbidding to marry. All right. So that's why I say that the Catholic Church was, um, this stuff was set up for the dis, um, dis, Encouragement of sex. That right. means forbidding to marry and what? And commanding to abstain from meat. Telling them that they cannot eat uh, meat. All right? During what? Lent. Right. Come on. Which God hath created uh -huh. to be received with thanksgiving uh -huh. of them which believe and know the truth. All right. Talking about the Israelites who believe and know the truth. All right. Now, um, let's go back. So now we're getting some insight on what this Mardi Gras stuff means. Right. And I want to play that. Hey, just play the video while we're reading this. Yeah. Pull it up just a little bit so people can see it. I don't want to play it because they might give us a strike. But just let it play at the bottom. You're going to see a lot of idolatry going on. You're going to see a lot of white folk. You're going to see the Catholics down there. You're going to see a lot of reveling, partying, people um, half naked and stuff. All this, this is nothing but Christianity. All right. And you don't, they don't show. I don't, I ain't seen a nigga on there yet. Not yet. But read it. A popular, excuse me, Mardi Gras may or may not have pagan roots. A popular theory holds that Mardi Gras' origin lie in ancient pagan celebrations of spring and fertility, such as Saturnalia and Lupercalia. Some experts contend, however, that Mardi Gras-type festivities popped up solely as a result of the Catholic Church's dis discouragement of sex and meat during Lent. Uh -huh. Church reformers may have helped to propagate the pagan rumors, these experts say, in the hope of dissuading pre lieutenant hedonism. All right, come on. Oh, scroll down. I'm going to see if I'm going to read. I'm not going to read all this. Hold on. Yeah. Um, read that. Number three. New Orleans did not host the first North American Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is believed to have arrived in North America on March 3rd, 1699. When the French Canadian explorer Pierre Lemoyne it did Breville camped about sixty miles downriver from the future site of New Orleans, knowing it excuse yeah, knowing it was Fat Tuesday back in France, it Breville named the spot Pont du Mardi Gras and held a small gala. A few years later, French soldiers and settlers feasted and wore masks as part of the Mardi Gras festival. All right, so this is where they wear the masks uh, and all that stuff. That's where it come from. Come on. In the newly founded city of Mobile, uh -huh. present day Alabama. All right. To this day, Mobile claims to have the oldest annual Mardi Gras celebration in the United States. All right. Now, come on. We'll go up a little bit. Number four. Mardi all right, so I ain't, I ain't finna read all that. Y'all go back and read it on your own time. Give me Psalms 105, uh, 106 and verse 35. Bring it out. So this is what happens. White people come over here with their pagans, their gods of fertility and stuff, teach it to the slaves. The slaves started, you know, when they hit us with their whip and cracked our whips and probably made us build them, um, them floats and stuff, you know what I'm saying, for free. Now, black people start thinking it's our holiday too. But what happened? Read. The book of Psalm, chapter 106 and verse 35. Uh -huh. But were mingled among the heathen. All right, and we was what? Mingled among the heathen. All right, we was mingled among the heathen. Once we got here, the heathen, um, they came, they was already, we was already over here as slaves. You know what I'm saying? When they was uh, founding this stuff. All right, and we mingled among the heathen. Come on. And learned their works. And now we learned their works, meaning their ways. We learned to do what they was doing. All right, come on. And they served their idols. All right, and we start to serve their idols. We start to serve their whatever they said do, we started to do that. All right, and as we done that, God continued to get angry with us. All right, come on. Which were a snare unto them. Oh, it was a trap unto us. All right, so anytime that we celebrate these things, hey, God gets angry. That's why I bought it out earlier. When we turn our back from God, he'll point over us terror. That's right. All right, uh, all right, let's play some promos, then we're going to get the callers on Zoom. Yeah, Cap, and, and when it says learn their works, like we just read in the video, I mean, in the article, it says that they were rebelling against Christianity, right. yeah. saying that 
uh, you can't have sex, you can't eat certain meats. So the same way they was rebelling against their white God, right? White yeah. Jesus is the same way we was rebelling, learning their works against right. our God. Right. Yep. So that's why it's very important to have these bliss. Can I get one scripture before we get the yeah, video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me second Ezra's right quick. Second Ezra's chapter one. And start at verse five. The book of Second Ezra's chapter one and verse five. Go thy way. And show my people their sinful deeds. That's what the bliss are for. That's why we was out there in Mo Mobile, Alabama, is to do what? Show my people their sinful deeds. Come on. And their children their wickedness, mm -hmm. which they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children. Right, because there was a lot of kids out there. A, a lot. lot of kids, man, half right. naked out there. Yep. Read on. Because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, uh -huh. for they have forgotten me. That's the point. They have done what? Forgotten me. They've forgotten the God of uh, Jacob and Abra Isaac. Abraham, Abraham Isaac, 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 and, and Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Come on. And have offered unto strange gods. The strange gods is Lupercus, Bacchus. Right, Those right. are the gods that yep, we've seen right, them serving right. uh, this past Sabbath. Right, right, right. right. absolutely. Yep. Hey, um, let's play, the, play a promo right quick, and we're going to uh, get the callers ready on Zoom. All right. How many people we got in the Zoom? Okay. We are Israelites. Israelites. They see we woke, we got that call, now we involved. We cry out loud, hear our voices jump out the wall. Who's on the ground, you see us coming through these streets. On me a God, if you hate, take a seat. They see we woke, we got that call, now we involved. We cry out loud, hear our voices jump out the wall. Who's on the ground, you see us coming through these streets. On me a God, if you hate, take a seat. Just did a blessing, New York at the but these men right here is putting their lives on the lives for y'all. We out here, we, re we reading the Bible, thus saith the Lord. We ain't adding our own words to it. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. Yes, we are the Israelites. Israel, are you ready? Always ready. Who's the king? Right. Go high. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Look at the things that he's done for the nation. Uh -huh. This world, all for the taking. Remember the sin that we did in the basement. Oh, first by the heathen, I'm talking the basement. Ain't no so close and no man I could taste it. Daughter of Sarah, don't need me no basic. Milk in the honey, like why would I waste it? Pull out the scripture, we fixing it. These fake ass hood codes y'all got, you don't even live by. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 9 ain't out here to play with none of y'all. The problem with our people is you won't do nothing to no other nation of people. You only do things to other black people. Right. You won't challenge the white man. You won't challenge the Chinese man. You won't challenge the Arabs. You won't challenge the East Indians. That's why the black woman in our communities do not respect us. That's why the black woman in our communities don't respect us. Because you won't challenge no other nation of people that oppress us. The only people you challenge is your own damn people. Hey, so I'll pray. We're going to get some Fight. more promos, man, just to let y'all know, man. Look, we out there for the betterment of our people. That's right. Hey, man, look. Hey, them, them it's sending chills through my body. Because yes, one sir. thing we know for sure, that Mobile, Alabama, ain't never seen that many black men come together right. uh, and read the Bible yep. and try to do anything together. Yes, That's right. They ain't seen black people come together like this since the Civil Rights Movement. Mm. Right. So when we hit the corner, we're going to read the Facebook post. People say, I ain't know what they was. They scared us. You know what I'm saying? They was look, man. Look, people have not seen black unity in the black community since Dr. King died. You know what I'm saying? They ain't seen it. So, uh, you got the Zoom? You got the people ready on Zoom? Hey, so we got um, let's pull the Zoom up. So real quick, I know somebody that was born and raised there, and he told me that the city ain't never seen nothing like that. So you on board yeah. with that? Yeah, I already know. Never seen nothing like that. All right, so look, if y'all out there on Facebook, uh, you on uh, you uh, YouTube, or any platform out there, you want to call in. The link is in the description. All right, 
So if you want to call in, get your two cents or whatnot, and say something real quick, you can do that. All right? So, um, all right. Hello? Hello, hey. how you doing, sis? What's your name? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Sabrina Mass. All right, how you doing, sister Sabrina? Hey, how are you? How all are right. you guys? All right, we're doing well. It's um, it's great to have you on the show. Um, thank you, and thank you for the um invite. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the invite. I, I, I honestly do. All right, all right, all, all right. praises. Yeah, so how we came uh and, and got to know you was on social media. I think on Facebook. Uh, yes, yeah, on That's Facebook, right. and you was you were saying some profound things. Uh, so, <laughs> and I, I don't think it, I think uh, in the beginning you didn't understand um, who we were and what our mission was and I think you kind of you I think how I read it I think you bag you kind of bagged down and you went and done a little research and came back and you was um, done with I, I guess I say what real people do you apologize um, uh -huh. and kind of you know changed it and, and talked in a different tone so what do you think oh, about yeah. when you see us when you see that on Facebook when I see what on Facebook? When you seen us on Facebook, what was your first thought? Oh, oh, okay, okay, right. So, okay, so can I just get a little background for myself first? Yes. If I may, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because I, I, I'm Sabrina Mass, and and the one thing about me, I, I, I'm from, I'm originally from Texas, but I've been in Mobile going on 18 years. Okay. Okay. And so, um, I'm actually a retired nurse. I am a state licensed armed officer, but most of all, I'm, I've been into civil rights and community activism since I was a teenager. So I'm really big on civil rights okay. and I'm deep into it. And I, and I'm, I'm, I, I stand on that and stand on word and whatever I got to do and how you got to do it. Now, the situation is when I seen that on social media, the, the, the March at Trinity Garden Parade, I, honestly, I was like, you know, <laughs> like, well, I don't know about everybody, but I think the mainstream of of Mobile, Alabama were in shock because I at first I'm like, is that the Black Panthers? Because because, you know, everybody know the Black Panthers. If you know, if you went to, you know, black or the movement or what have you, even even throughout history, everybody know about the Black Panthers. Right. Right. OK. So. And being that I know that they still have the new Black Panther Party in Texas, in Atlanta and different places. That's why I th thought you guys might have been the Black Panther Party. Oh, okay. However, I couldn't... So, so the immediate effect that I got from seeing the, the you guys at the Trinity Garden Parade, um, you first, I'm like, dang, they deep. Like, that's, that's a lot to see in Mobile, Alabama. Just like that, out of nowhere. Right. Okay? Right. Because I had never seen that in Mobile, Alabama at all because that's why i was like damn who are these people so the more i listened to the first i was just intrigued by the the unity the strength and the march okay right because like i said that take me back to civil rights and i'm like uh -huh. they, they got to be marching for something or something is going on now i couldn't quite figure out what was going on like why would they be doing this at the trinity garden parade all of a sudden but then the more I went back and listened to the videos, and cause you know y'all went viral, right? I, I know I'm sure you guys knew that, right? Right. Uh huh. I mean, it just seemed like that. Actually, to tell the truth, you guys were more of the um conversation for three or four day, four days, more than just the Trinity Garden Parade. Right. Right. It was right. about the Trinity Garden Parade, but it was how you guys infiltrated. And I don't want to say infiltrating the wrong way. It's a good way. I know How what you're saying. Came and, and, and handled that. Now, me being who I am and, and want to do my research and being nosy, um, it was impactful. I'm like, who who are these people? So then immediately, of course, you see, I went, I did. I went and put a caption with the video. And I was like, from my understanding, I think I put, I'm happy to see, you know, this and, and unity. And I, I'd rather see this than to see gun violence. Right. Like this is like something that I can that I can that we that we need in the city of Mobile because you know we've been dealing with gun violence really bad. Right. So that was the immediate impact and effect that it had on me and my thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, like I say, I didn't know who know who the ICU. I didn't even know what ICUC stood for. I U I C. 
Yeah, oh, I got sorry. you. Are you? I see. Uh -huh. Pardon me. Uh -huh. Okay, but it, but when I so <laughs> of course you can see when I put it on there and this and that, people start reacting different ways. Right. Because I was like, wait a minute, hold on. This is this is a whole bunch of confusion. Uh huh. Because like, <laughs> I, I heard great things and then I heard negative things and then I was like, well, you know what? Hold hold on, hold on. Now, now me myself. I don't jump into a situation until I know the facts of situations, no matter what the opinion is of the people. Right. Because I base my things and what I try to do is base what I do and what I say and how I move on facts. Because opinions are, are, are nothing but water. We need facts. That's right. So therefore, I appreciate it when you guys reached out to me and kind of was, in, you know, like I said, and I even put that on the page. Just I want I'm asking this because I want to be educated. And the only way you can know we can be educated in anything we do is from the original source. That's right. And that would be you and you, your 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 movement. Right. Right. Like I can hear people, but I'm like, nah, if I don't know anything about this going on in City Mobile, because I promise I know everything moving in City Mobile as far as business uh -huh. and civil rights. Right, right. I was thinking to myself, have, if I didn't know who these this group of people, I know good well y'all on my social media don't know who nothing about these people like this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and yep. that's just being truthful. That's right. I keep it real. Right. So I appreciate you guys for inboxing me and let me, you know, trying to educate me on uh, this and that. Now, I have done a little more, more research and I know you guys are um, very religious and that's a good thing. Um, Cause guess what? We, st I, even myself, I'm still out here trying to educate myself on the word of God. Uh huh. And that's just being truthful. I know some, I know who God and Jesus, I know who, yes, but I'm still educating myself on the, on the biblical word. Right, you right. Know? Now, now, now my husband is very biblical and, oh. and, and, and he corrects me a lot of times uh, to let me know exactly. Cause he going to tell you what, he going to tell you exactly what the words say. Uh -huh. He not going to tell you what I wanted to say. He going to tell me and anybody else what the word say and what it means. Right, because sometimes we can take the word and, and 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 interpret it, and it's not the right meaning. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Right, right, right. So, I, and now, so to tell, to be to answer your question, it was very. The movement was very impactful. It's people still talking about it. Yeah, I'll praise, praise to the Most High. Scott, what? So, okay, go ahead. Do you know? Do you know Greg Cyprian? No. Uh, he, he's I bring the water. Is the water in the chat? Excuse me. Yeah, bring the water on. Uh -huh. uh, we got a brother from Mobile, from our Mobile school down uh -huh. there. We finna bring him on the chat, uh -huh. and you can communicate with him right quick. What, and he, what's he his made, name? His name is Dewada. Dewada. Uh huh. His name Dewada. So we got a school okay. in. We got a school down there in Mobile. Um, and what you okay. seen was uh, a man from all over the country that came down to show they mm -hmm. support and try to wake up the, the brothers and sisters in Mobile. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna bring the other brother on the screen soon as we soon as we we can okay. get him up. But yeah, a lot of people. Um, yeah, here he is. So, so it's, it's it's a lot of people who don't know who we are. A lot of people know who we are. A lot of people choose to speak good about us, what we do, and a lot of people choose to speak evil. They just yeah, I, it, yeah, it's crazy. So, so in anything, yeah. we, it don't matter anything you do, especially when you're doing good. Black folks are That's always right. gonna try to find some evil to say about you to what to discourage. Yeah others from um from seeing yeah. the good in you you know what i mean that's but, what but that's they do okay, let, me, let me tell you this brother now, don't don't get it twisted now some yeah. people was going to a stream and i shut them down with their conversation yeah I'll i did it. shut some conversations down because y'all ain't gonna clown the people like that now yeah yeah people like so, they, they so. like to try to clown us and stuff but we really go to different neighborhoods all over the um all over the world now and um wow. especially in the united states and we go and smack dead in the hood, and we we come back gang bangers. We come come back the drug dealers, the prostitutes, uh, the even the Christian church and stuff like that, the uh, the Muslims or whatnot. We come at them uh, in a righteous way, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit of Christ. Yes, sir. All right, so That's hey, right. want to welcome um, welcome Officer Dawada to the. Can you hear me, bro? Hey, yes, long cap, Most High Christ bless. Do you hear me? Hey, Most High Christ bless. Yes, sir. I can hear you, man. So, hey, uh, this is Sister Sabrina Mass. Sister Sabrina, hey. this is uh, Officer DeWada. He's in Mobile, Alabama. I, by I the way, I can't uh, see him. You can't you see you him? See me? Well, uh -huh. she be able to see him. You might be not be. Yeah, you might have to him. look on TV and see him. 
Yeah, because everybody else can see him. On TV. To see him. Yeah, but you won't be able to see <laughs> oh, him on Zoom. Uh, oh, okay. You, I don't think you'll be able to see him on Zoom right now, but uh, okay. yeah. I got you. It's Officer DeWattom, uh, by the way, of okay. uh, the Mississippi Delta, man. <laughs> okay, all right. Mississippi in the house. Still. <laughs> How you doing, sister? You all right? Hey, oh, I can see you now. You doing all right? I'm good. How are you, my brother? I'm doing good. Hey, we do a lot of work down there as far as with the youth violence in Mobile. Um, okay. We got a school. We got a school uh, out for Moffitt. Uh, mm. You know, okay. thirty-one, thirty pink area. Yeah, check us out when you get time, and uh, we got your number, so we'll talk um, when we get off. Because I heard okay. that you got a lot of uh, insight, and you do a lot of business within the youth <laughs> and the uh, community. So I do a lot definitely... of business with everything that have to do with the city of Mobile. Period. Point blank. That's okay. What's up? All right. All right. Black communities. Right. I'm on a lot of different commissions here appointed by the mayor and the city council and the chief of police. But however, I'm going to tell you this and keep it real. I don't play with them. Right See, they want to keep me on their good side. They better because they know I'm cool. As long as you're doing <laughs> right by the people, as That's long right. as you're doing right. right by the people, I'm right. going to support. Right. I'm going to support like you guys. Listen, you have, you, you believe what you believe because we all have a right. But I, I'm going to say this. I I like the unity in the community. That's right. Now, right. If people want to learn and, 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 and use their brains and get some education behind people in the unity in the community with some biblical knowledge, then that's what they'll do. That's right. Because we got to understand, I understand we fighting against some principalities out here. That's right. There you go. There you I, go. I know hey, what's happening Sabrina. out here, bro. Hey, Sabrina. That's another reason why people don't see us or notice us on these platforms because it's a media blackout on us. That's right. They got us on a media blackout because we we clean the community. We we do youth violence seminar. We right. stop the gang banging. We go we go into jail. Are you talking about the, you talking about locally? You, let me ask you about the, the media. No, uh, uh, Sabrina, Sabrina, no. Nationally, no. nationally, they nationally. yeah yeah nationally. the people who own they got us as a hate group. Yeah, because you, we stand up for oh, so they don't put y'all. Hey. They don't put y'all in the same category like the Black Panther Party. No, no, hey, no, no they put us. They classified. Well, we, that's yeah. what they classified. The, with the no, they classified them as a hate group. They did. That's why they banned them from flying whenever they was in, in yeah. full force. But now, uh, it's it's worse than that, Sister Sabrina. They got us number three. The men you seen marching through that neighborhood to mm -hmm. to um. To show black fight. solidarity, to, to show yeah. black people that black men can come together, and there's mm -hmm. no fights, and there's no no drugs, and not no women. Yeah, so we 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 display that in a, a positive manner, and they have the audacity to put us number three as the number one hated group in the United States of America. So this is why it's important that we meet um, uh, young sisters like yourself. So when people speak evil of us, you know what I'm saying? When we're not there. The Most High will put the spirit on you to say, no, y'all are lying on those guys. Those guys are not a hate group. You know what I'm saying? They show nothing right. but love. You know what I'm saying? But when black people, when black men come together, you got to remember what J. Edgar Hoover said. J. Edgar Hoover said the biggest threat to America, America. and the well-being of America is the rise of a black messiah. And this is what they don't want. They don't want black men ra rising up to do number gang bang and going to their penitentiary. Oh yeah, it's definitely a propaganda. I, I, yeah. I, listen, I, I've been there. A matter of fact, if you look, if you look a couple of weeks ago in the city, about three, four weeks ago in Mobile City Council, I got up at that very podium and I asked them. I said, "Is this about money or lives?" I said, "This gun violence is out of control." I asked that question to the chief of police, public safety director, Stimson. The city councilman, I stood at that podium a few weeks ago and asked this very question. Is this really about money or lives? Because this is out of control. Yeah. And, and I, listen, I'm very alert. In the, and, and when I say stuff, I voice it like I'm voicing. And I got one question. Has this ever been, this 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 classification of you guys being a hate group and blah, blah, blah. Have you, have you guys ever filed something through the Department of Justice? Tell me what's going on with that. Because this might have to go all the way to the Supreme Court. Yeah. Hey, hey, we got things like that, and you know we don't talk about it online. But hey, yeah, we don't. Okay, we ain't well, just well, letting I them talk. Talk about it online because yeah. I'm on, I'm on yeah. the public safety committee with the FBI right here in Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, hey, we even had a sister. Uh, not a sister. We had a. Uh, I call her a devil. And what was that? Um, was that Sacramento? What was that? In, um, she 
She ran us over. Oh, uh, yeah, that was in California. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I think it was in California. She ran through the camp. You know what I'm talking about, the water? No. Yeah, I think yeah, it was Denver. It was Denver. She, she Wyoming. Wyoming. It was up, it was up yeah, yeah. Problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. She tried to run us over. That's right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. She had some mental problems. She got yeah. mental problems. We ain't, we ain't going to waste our time on that foolishness like yeah. that. So so my point is, have you guys ever filed something as as a uh, um, the, as a group uh, 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 with the Department of Justice for classifying you in as a hate group? Yeah. And to the reason, because it's got to be addressed. That's right. Are we going best believe? I mean, I'm serious. If, yeah. if that's the first step. The first step is filing something through the department. And, and I'm saying the reason to do it now is why Biden's sitting up in there and why you got Mary Garland, because they bad they about their business mm -hmm. right okay. now. Okay. I'm just saying, file you something. And if you if I need to get you that information, I work directly with a retired FBI agent right now on the public safety committee. Okay. I would ask him. I would even I would even introduce this your your group to him. Lasky. Now he's from Miami, but he real he real like this. Power, black power. Hey, 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 hey Sabrina, watch this, Cap, but can I put a scripture real quick? Yes, sir. Hey, get Acts 18 and start at 9 and 10. Hey, sister Sabrina, we're gonna show you that we always gonna have people that look out for us and that believe, you know, mm -hmm. they may not be doing the exact same things that we're doing, you know, out on the forefront, got our lives on the line. You yeah. know, like this young brother got shot in, in front of us. I don't know if Cap went over there yet. No, nah, we ain't went over yet. Young brother. Okay, yeah. I'll right, wait till you go over yeah. there. But watch this, yeah. read Acts 18 and um, verse 9. Watch this. The read book that. of Acts, chapter 18 and verse 9. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid. But speak and hold not thy peace. So we're not going to hold our peace. We, it's no matter where we're going, we're not going to hold our peace. We're going to always speak God's word. And we ain't holding our peace. Read. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. We ain't For, worried about nobody hurting us, right? Come on. Ooh, that's deep For right I there. have much people in this city. Read that again. For I have much people in this city. So it's a lot of people in the city that's going to believe on us, even though they try to naturally block us out. You know, whatever they try to come up with, it ain't going to well, work. That's, that's about to change if that's I right. got some. That, right. That's about to change if I got something to do with it, because I'll cause right. people out around here. Right, right. We got the people. <laughs> the Lord going to hold us down. Go ahead, Cap. Hey, 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 I'll praise it, man. That's a that's a that's a, a beautiful scripture right there to the pull, man. It is. I, um, what was that again? Acts what? The book of Acts, chapter 18, verse 9 and 10. All right. Chapter 18. Yeah, Acts, chapter 18, verse 9 and 10. All right, mm -hmm. so, um, mm -hmm. hey, Austin, did you have anything else you wanted to bring out? What was your experience? Uh, has Alabama, uh, Mobile, Alabama, ever seen anything like that? Mm. Hey, the city's still shocked. Um, you know, we got a couple <laughs> brothers that, 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 you know, that work, and they're like, yeah, you, I seen your boys, man. They came deep. So okay. the city, the city is buzzing right now about the unity that was shown. Now you know you're gonna have some people that don't believe because you know it is what it is. Because we we using God's word. Everybody don't want to. Everybody not gonna fall in line to God's word. Everybody don't want to hear God's word. It's some people that want to be some full blown demons. Right. Okay, I, can, I ask, can I ask a question? I'm sorry, y'all do ask. I'm I'm very inquisitive. Yes. So the the not not Officer Dewater, but the person that. Is hosting the show. Where are you? Where Where are you living? Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You the one that called me. Right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. Can you put Officer the water back on? Yeah, yeah. He's still on. Yeah. I'm oh, on. he is. Okay, okay. So, okay. Now I'm, I'm. Now my mind is getting. Okay. So I'll say this, um, sir. I'm gonna say this. I, I can't talk about Tennessee and, and Texas. And right now I can't talk about this other state, but I live in Mobile, Alabama, right? But I can mm -hmm. tell you this. There are more people in Mobile, Alabama, 90% that seen that, that are with this, they they with this movement. I'm going to just clear that on up. I'll praise it. <laughs> I'm going to okay, clear I'll that on you. up because I'm going to tell you why. Because we in a critical phase right now in Mobile, mm. Alabama with gun violence. Mm. And that's the fact. Now, let me, can I tell you something else? Did this lady, Officer Dewater, you live in Mobile, right? Right, right. Well, Did you I see the Fox 10 news? Did you see Fox 10 news last night? 
No, I didn't. I was on the news last night. I stay on the news. Now watch this. You know the young lady mothers against involved against gun violence, Naja Hill. Naja Hill. That sounds Naja familiar. Hill. She her she lost her son to gun violence two years ago. Sixteen year old good kid, a on the road student, basketball player. By the police. By the police. No, 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 no. Not by the police. It's a street no. violence. Okay. He, he 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 was a good kid. They robbed him. They they shot the kid above his 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 shoes and wore him to school the next day with the blood on him and ever there in, in, in the floor. Hmm. Now, her, his trial come up Monday, but the girl been shaking and moving in the city with this gun violence deep. I've been with her deep. The city of mobile just gave her four thousand dollars yesterday for her movement. Then the county commission called yesterday because they know me. If I stand with you, things gonna move and shake around here because I don't be playing. They said that they got to give $25,000 today to her movement because she's been out here in these streets for real fighting, 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 fighting. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. She saw you guys, the video on my page again, Naja uh -huh. Hill. And she, and I called her, I said, because we've been talking about you guys. Y'all been buzzing. Yeah. The phone's line's been buzzing. Cause they've been asking me, Miss Mess, what you think about this, this, and this? I said, Well, I feel like you know what I'm saying they about to have a shift and a shake in the city. Cause guess what? Strong brothers, unified, marching, <laughs> infiltrating a trending gun parade. Oh, y'all shut that down. You know what? Let me tell you something. I think that they probably thought Jesus had set foot down here or something. Cause that was a shake up. <laughs> that was, that's a, right. that was a shake up. That was a shake up. That was a true shake up. Man, y'all had this thing so rocked and stirred. Let me tell you, I haven't heard nothing about the Trinity God Parade. Only thing I kept hearing about is this 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 march. All praises. All praises. Now yeah. I'm gonna tell you why I believe the time is now and the time is critical because we're dealing with some heartbreak and some heartache out here with some gun violence. Mm -hmm. And y'all just yeah. came at the right time, yep. at the right moment, in the right movement. That's right. So this brilliant. young lady, this young lady earlier, and this is true. We was talking about y'all today. And she said, yeah. I'm, I don't know who she reached yeah. out to, who she inboxed. But she said she had inboxed somebody to try to get conglomerate because this girl got a movement behind her. Yeah. Well, yeah, Sabrina, 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 yeah. you got our number. Matter of fact, you got some pictures of us doing our youth violence seminars, right? I do. Did you get some pictures the other day? I got some pictures. Okay, yeah, so guess what? Yeah, I'm saying when we did the youth violence, did somebody see you, did you see some youth violence? Well, I think what you was discussing on the Facebook at the time. If you didn't, we're going to link I, up. We're I'll gonna... go back and look because, you know, I Yeah, go back. Go back and look. So what we're we going to do is, like I said, when we get off the phone, we definitely going to leak in, even with the sister that you're yeah. you dealing with, so we can show up at the, at the youth violence seminar. Okay, but right? I'm going I'm gonna go even deeper than that. Forget that. We're going to get that, too. But I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. You get your peoples together like y'all went to that Trent Garden parade, and baby, y'all just infiltrate government plaza because I'm putting y'all on the agenda, and I'm going to open up for y'all to speak. At uh -oh. the city council meeting uh -oh. with the mayor, uh -oh. the police, uh -oh. the public safety yes. committee, the city council, the county commission, yes, hard sir. hitters be sitting in that yeah. government plaza every week. I've been down there 18 years deep yeah. with them. And y'all pack out that, you pack out that stadium, man, these right. Caucasians ain't gonna know what to do. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta listen to me, brother, because you know we yeah. got to move like chess pieces, right? Yeah, yeah. Why is it a serpent moment, and harmless as a dog? Moment, hold on, listen to me. At that moment, because don't forget those city council meetings, are, are, they, they broadcast live. Uh huh. They broadcast live. Anybody can look at it. It's broadcast live with all the late local radio, the whole yeah. local news. They do right. it live as it's happening. At right, that so, moment, I want I want to say, you guys sitting in the audience don't be classified as a hate group, and I need them to uh, uh, handle that immediately. That's right. Hey, uh, Sister Sabrina, so, hey, what we going to do, we going to uh, keep you in contact with the water in Mobile. We don't want to tell them everything okay. we're going to do because a lot of our enemies watch this platform. So, what enemies? Well, uh, what you just read about them enemies in the act? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she cut me. Hold on. Let me give her, let me give her a sign. I hear what you're saying. Hey, sister, cut me, right man. Now. All right. The scripts say also be is. wise as a serpent. Yeah, yeah. we got to be wise as a serpent oh, yeah, at home. Oh, yeah, the way they yeah. say, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. But all, right. all I'm telling y'all is the way yeah. I talk right now is the way I talk all the time. Hey, believe me, I, I, I believe you. I believe <laughs> you. No doubt I believe you. 
So all praises, sis. We're glad to have you on the show. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue to go through the scriptures for another 30 minutes or so. And uh, okay. um, uh, stay in contact with Officer DeWater. Uh, he got your contact information, Lord's will, um, and we're going to make okay. some things happen. You understand? Right. And I appreciate you guys for letting me, you know, go, go on and say what I had to say and get off my chest. I appreciate That's right. the invite. That's right. I promise you I do. I'm going to be praying and I'm going to believe that whatever it is and whoever it is, whoever the enemy may be, I'm just asking God right now, if you don't mind, whoever the enemy may be, to put his hands over them and snatch them and smirk them away from here because he ain't nobody got time for that. That's right. I like this sister. Yes, so right. I like this sister. Bat, 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 battle. <laughs> Hey, I all praise to the most high, man. Hey, we gotta go to the All right, sister. Glad yeah. hey, glad you called and we'll have you back on the show again, sis. All right? Okay. All Peace right. And love and unity to all. Yes, sir. Shalom. 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 All right, all right. Hey, shalom, officer. Hey, I I want to get Hosea right quick. Um Chapter four. Hosea chapter four, right quick. Hey, all praise to the most high, man. It's good to have um People like that on your side, man. You know, uh, good, good, good sisters like that, man. Good God fearing sisters like that. All right. The book of Hosea, chapter four and verse one. Is it? Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Uh -huh. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the the solution. Not only do we address the problem, we gotta address the solution. The solution is to understand that God got a problem with us as his chosen people. We are disobedient. This is why our, the gun violence ain't going to stop. All right? The gun violence ain't going to do nothing but get worse and get worse and get worse. Everything is going to get worse until Christ come, right. until war come. The only thing that's going to make the gun violence stop is something called thermonuclear fire. Right. That's what people don't understand. See, this ain't the first time this happened when the world... Uh, it just continued to get worse and worse and worse. The, the crime rate, uh, the violence was yes, going sir. on. Yep. It happened in the book of Genesis. And God did what? He destroyed the earth with water. Right. But this time he said he coming with what? With fire. fire. He coming with fire. He going to reset it. He going to put the damn GDs in their place. Right. He going to put the vice lords in their place. Right. He going to put these little neighborhood crips in their place too. Right. He going to put, look, the, the Lord going to put everybody where they supposed to be. All right. This is why you. That's why it's important for you to repent and come back on the right side, so you can be what God wants you to be. Right. Where you supposed to be is that on the right side of God. Don't be on the wrong side in that day when thermonuclear fire come. So this is why we go out there to do what to warn the people to wake the hell up. You know what I'm saying? To repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. They don't understand how close we are, right. and they out there on floats throwing um. Throwing bees, throwing honey Weed, buns, snapping pops, TV, cotton candy, moon pies, uh, moon pies uh, that food bank food. Right. After, and they were throwing liquor and condoms out too. Right. Damn. To look and the kids was picking it up. up. Yeah, the little kids picking up the little liquor bottles and yeah. the condoms they was throwing out. The women the drunk as hell. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, the women on the on the float drunk as hell. Right. The men was getting high. The women getting high. It was just, it was ridiculous. It was straight up reveling. Right, all right? right, right. But keep reading right quick. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the Lord got a controversy. He got a problem with us. Come on. Because there is no truth. It ain't no truth. It ain't no truth. The, the, the Christian church is not teaching the truth. The Damn politicians wow. ain't telling the truth. Uh, uh, we, it ain't no truth out here. Right. The only people out here with the truth is us. Right. right. And this is why more men are starting to wake up. More sisters are starting to wake up. All right, come on. No truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. It ain't no mercy. Black people will not show mercy towards one another. Nope. We hate one another. Come on. Nor knowledge of God in the land. And ain't no knowledge of God here in America. We, been, we don't learn the white man guys. We don't learn how to do Mardi Gras. You know what I'm saying? We don't learn about Santa Claus. We don't learn about uh, Thanksgiving. Right. We don't learn about everything that the white man has set for us to do, understand and know that it is a lie. All right, come on. By swearing. And by what? Swearing. See, that was, I'm telling y'all, these young boys, uh, these young girls, uh, that's the new thing now, on God. Yeah. Yep. On God. Everything yep. they do and say is on God now. Yep. They swear. Come on. And lying. And what? Lying. And they lie to one another. Come on. And killing. And what? Killing. And killing. While we was out there, we was walking down the street literally. Myself, Captain Shim, Captain Hoshia, 
uh, a few officers with us, um, and some more captains. We was all walking. We heard something pop, 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 pop. We just kept on. We were like, we stopped. We started for a minute. That's how close it was. We heard it. Then we went to teaching. Then a little boy come over there. I'm hit. I'm hit. So guess who had to help him? Bring the people out. who y'all say is a hate group. Right. right. The out. people who y'all say is a cult. Right. The people that y'all telling us to leave, go. And when that stuff happened, look, man, we're gonna pull it up on put it up on the screen for they think I'm lying. Yeah. Rewind it, rewind it a little bit. Coming or then let it loop. Coming with receipts. That's the little boy shot. That's us helping him. Bring it out, Kip. Thank the Lord that the most high put uh on the spirit of our leadership to have a medical team to train young black men to be paramedics out there. Not only for ourselves, but for the civilians that's around us. The little boy is shot. He started. He can't even talk. I don't think he said nothing. He like he in demon mode. And it was another shot. Give me the news article. Right. Find Cap. the article. I think I put the article in the chat. They said the other one got shot. The one that passed away. And the people at the parade was like, man, move that nigga out the street. The show must go on. Yeah, Damn. they said get him out the way so the show can go on. Right. And they, it's like they didn't even care the little boy was over there shot. Didn't nobody care but us. Right. And there was one sister over there, she was crying and getting hysterical. But we held everything down, told everybody to bag up right. so the little boy can breathe until the paramedics got him and took him where he wanted to go. Right. All right, we're going to read some of them comments, too, because people think we a joke. Right. In Mobile, Alabama, and all the rest of the world going to know when they see that purple and gold, man, we ain't no joke. We out there to save the lives of our people, man. That's another, That's the other one that got shot over there. He might be the one that died. I don't know. Did you find a news article? Well, Google. Uh, Mardi Gras parade shooting in Mobile, Alabama. You're going to find it. It ain't hard to find. And, they, and the black people act like it didn't even happen, man. It was crazy. And then soon, I'm talking about the little boy was on the ground. Then you got women still bringing their kids to the parade to catch honey buns and liquor and condoms. Are right, you find anything yet? All right, let's pull it up right quick. Hey, read the scripture while you're getting it. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 2, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. And that's all. It was all going out there. I, I, it was some lying going on out there. Yep. And, and, hey, some killing. The dude got killed. Right. And there was some stealing. You can bet somebody cars and stuff were getting broke in out there. And what else? And committing adultery. It was some married men and women out there sleeping around on their husbands and on their wives. I can guarantee you that night. It's too much licking and weed involved. Yeah, too many real. people walking around naked. You know what I'm saying? It was cold as hell out there. And you we seen a black girl with them with some ashy booty cheeks. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you, my we man, I'm talking about just ass everywhere. And it was what, 50 something degrees? Right. And them be the same women say, I can't wear right. a dress. Right. I can't wear a dress. It was cold, cold out there. It was cold out there, and you had ashy asses out there. Damn. Ashy ass cheeks what, everywhere. What they say, cat looking a hot mess. A hot. Yeah, uh, now, she was a cold mess. Cold. Right. <laughs> she was a cold <laughs> Bring mess. <it> out. <laughs> Come on. They break out, and blood touches blood. This is this violence in the black community right here in the Bible. That's it. They say they break out. And what happened? Blood touches blood. And blood touched blood. Now they got to get some get back. Right. That little boy got shot in the arm. They probably already don't win and shot up somebody. Yep, they probably it. already don't win and shot up somebody at mama house. Bring it we out. don't know. You know what I'm saying? They probably already done killed somebody in Mobile from Saturday until now, up until now. We just heard Sister Mad say the gun violence is out of control in Mobile. That's right. But not only in Mobile, the gun violence in control in every city Everywhere. that the right. Israelites that we are at. Because right. we are under a curse. Every if you go to Nashville, you can go to uh Birmingham. I think seven people got killed or shot up or something at the car right. wash in Birmingham. Wow. You can go to Atlanta, you can go to Memphis, you can go to Chicago, any city you name where the Israelites are there, where God chosen people there. Uh, uh, you gonna find us in a curse, and right. what are we doing? Shooting and killing up one another. Right over what? Over social media beef. Mm. The hell is this? Over over a rap beef. Cause I called you a, a B in a song. I deserve to die. 
Because I talked about your girlfriend in a song, I Deserve to Die. I said I got more money than you. My rim's bigger than yours. My weed better than yours. Because that's all they rap about. Right. I deserve to die for that. Right. Bring it out, Kip. We have become emotional. Been raised by our mamas. That's why you see a group of men out there. A new breed of black men is on earth today. That's what they don't understand. But they going to get it. That's right. They going to get it because we, in, look, man, look, a new breed of black man, and we married a black woman, we take care of our kids. We don't sell dope no more. You know what I'm saying? We don't prostitute our women no more. We ain't popping pills no more. We ain't making rap music calling our women bitches and hoes no more. Bring it and excuse up. my language, but that's what they do. All right, come on. Therefore shall the land mourn. Now, Mobile, Alabama is mourning. That's right. Just Memphis, Tennessee it. is mourning. Yep. Just talking about the sister whose uh, son died. Yeah. Right. This is why these. This is why I read that. Guess what brought me to get these uh, this scripture right there to show. Yep. We are the people in the Bible. Until we come back to this Bible, you can have all the marches. You can have, we can, look, you can have all the get-togethers. Bring you can out. go sit with the city councilman. You can go sit with the president. You can go sit with the pope. Until we understand that we are God-chosen people and we have done something against God. Right. God is angry with us, and we must repent and come back to him and keep his laws, statutes, and commandments and the faith in Jesus Christ. Right. It's going to continue to happen. That's right. In your life. It's already going to continue to happen until Christ come. Because somebody got to get burnt up. Yes, sir. Somebody got to be ashes. Yep. Somebody got to be the the, uh, the flame. Somebody hey. got to be the kindle to the fire that's coming to America. It's going to be a lot of these uh, little rappers. It's going to be a lot of these these women, these revelers, these club goers, these Mardi Gras goers, that they don't repent. It's going to be a lot of death. That's right. You ain't seen nothing yet. It just hit, it just hurts worse when it hits home. Black people, we the biggest hypocrites. We'll say we want we'll we'll say we want the violence to stop, but we'll put in honeycomb brazy. Mm. We'll put in finesse two times. We'll listen to Young Dolphin, Young Gotti, and all these other garbage rappers. You know what I'm saying? We'll listen to all this garbage that's programming our kids to do this stuff. And then we'll say, Lord, help us. Damn. He's sending help. What you going to do? <laughs> He's sending men through to warn you what you going to do. To shock the city. Yeah, yeah. When, right. when we bring it all sound good, but when it's time to keep God's laws, what mm. you going to do? You gonna right. keep going to church on a Sunday, which is the wrong day. Right. You gonna keep celebrating Christmas and and talking about Santa Claus coming down your chimney. And ain't, I ain't see that many chimneys in Mobile. <laughs> I didn't. You gonna keep celebrating uh 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 St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's coming Day, up. Dog yeah, Day. Yeah. Uh, you know, niggas celebrate Groundhog Day. Man, that's a hell. <laughs> <laughs> that was the day, Groundhog <laughs> Day. <laughs> boy, no way, boy. Fourth of July. You gonna keep celebrating everything our slave master tell? Or you gonna do what? Celebrate what God tell you to celebrate. Right. See, our people must understand that we messed up. Our forefathers messed up. That's how we ended up here. Give me that in Jeremiah 16. I think it's 14 or somewhere in there. And I know I got to hurry up so we can get through some more videos. What we got next in the queue? Pull up them, uh, them people that were talking trash uh, in the comments. One dude tried to... Uh, he tried to delete it when he realized it got real. You know what I'm saying? He he was talking crap like a mug. But guess what? I screenshotted some of them. Receipts. And we, yeah, we got receipts on them. That means when you see black men coming together and it's something positive, we ain't out there selling dope, we doing something different than you, don't go and run the social media trying to mock the prophets of God. Mm. Now you got to get mocked. Yeah. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass. When thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? All right, so that's the question. Why do our kids keep killing one another? Why do we die of COVID-19? Why are we dying from heart disease and uh, 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 prostate cancer and, and colon cancer that are right? Why do we uh, get gout? Why, do we, uh, why, why are we dying with diabetes at an enormous rate? What is wrong with us? Come on. Or what is our iniquity? What we what have we done, God? That's the that's the question people are asking. First time somebody gets shot, somebody laying there dead, what do black women say? What does the black man say? They ask God what? Why? Why? Why my baby Lord? Yep. Why? 
Mm. That's the first thing we cry and ask God why. Well, he answering your question now. Come on. Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me. What, what happened? Your fathers have forsaken me. Our forefathers forsook God. We wanted to do our own thing. Come on. Save the Lord. Uh -huh. And have walked after other gods. We walked after the gods of the Mardi Gras, the Greek gods. We walked after the, the Roman gods, the pagans, the white man gods. All right, the Egyptian gods. Right. We walked out to them. Come on. And have served them. And have did what? Served did them. Did everything. You serve them faithfully. They had a Mardi Gras annually. Black people down there faithfully every year. Come on. And have worshipped them. And have did what? Worship yeah, them. Yeah, they, they on the float throwing honey buns and uh, uh, cream pies. That's worship. All yep. that food bank food. How you know a food bank food? <laughs> I ain't seen no nothing but this. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't seen no Swiss rolls. Right. right. Uh, you sell the same, same brand, ones. the same cakes. Damn. Yeah, health department rubbers. The right. kind that bust on you. The, pro the kind that probably already got uh, herpes on it before you even put it on. All of it expired. Yeah, you put the rub on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the food, uh, got, you got three days left to eat this, nigga. <laughs> and then the condoms, you, it probably already got uh, chlamydia in the condom. Damn. And when you put the rub on and pull it off, you leaking. Damn. Ah! Lord, you are, Lord, you piss, why? Why, <laughs> why, Lord? Oh, you pissing razor blades. Ooh. Oh, my Lord, it hurt. Clappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy's got the claps. I ain't heard that in yeah. so long. Damn. So, hey. <laughs> the claps. Go back over Come to on. where he was at. Uh, would you finish on that? No, uh, no sir. Go, uh. ahead. Go ahead. And have forsaken me and have not kept my law. And they, we, we hate God's laws. We do not keep God's law. Matter of fact, a Christian church say that you ain't got to keep God's law. They right. say that God's laws are done away with. Right. And this is why, uh, uh, yeah, so this is why we are in shambles. Our neighborhood are in shambles. Why? Because we teach that God's laws are done away with. So thou should not kill is not being taught to the young men. Mm, so no. now they bring their Glock with the switch on it, and they start to doing the killing. Right, and right. when they start to do the killing, we start doing the crime. Right, right. Because it's the Christian church. On every block is a Christian church. I'm going to let you get your point. Don't no, let ahead, me forget. No, but it's a Christian church on every block. Right. But it's crime on every block. Damn. Something got to be wrong. Right. They got to be teaching something wrong in that building. We shouldn't have to go out to these city council meetings and keep begging a white man for justice and peace, mm. for equal rights. We've been begging for equal rights since we got here and they ain't got it yet. Right. right. What you had, off? Go back over to that Hosea right fast. Um, so when you go out there and you try to talk to them and now they don't want to listen to you. They hate jump, it. Jump down to verse 6. Verse 6. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. So when you go out and you try to talk to them, they don't even want to listen to you. Yep. Because the knowledge is there, but it's just like hell. They don't give a damn. Come on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Come on. I will also reject thee. So the most high reject them, going back to that Leviticus 26 with right. Cap a Port Terrio. Come on. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget Thy children. So that's why you see all these unruly ass children out oh, here today. Yeah, yeah we're finna right. read about them. Pull it up. Come on. Read it. Take the uh, lower third off. Let's read it. Come Hold on. Up for me, bro. This happened in Mobile while we was teaching. Within a hundred yards from us, this happened. Come on. Saturday. Oh, I can't see the title. All right. Mobile, Alabama. One dead, two injured in Saturday morning shooting. Mobile Police. Uh -huh. Mobile, Alabama, WKRG. The Mobile Police Department confirmed that a shooting in the proximity of a Mardi Gras parade in the Trinity Gardens community left one man dead and two injured. And two injured right there in front of us, man. Including a child. Including what? A child. Now put, the, put us helping the child again, man. A child. Damn. That little boy was 15 years old, I think we asked him. 14 or 15. Dead. I mean, uh, shot in the arm. The Lord said he going to forget thy children. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. There ain't no hedge of protection around our children. That's, important. That's why it's important for us to repent. All right? Hey, pull. Now, go back to Facebook. Pull this guy up there we're talking. These, go back to the... Uh, did you want to finish the point, Cap? What was that? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 12. Yo, keep reading. And ye have done worse 
than your fathers. For behold, ye walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart, uh -huh. and they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not. Neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. All right, so the Lord is not showing us favor. Go back. All right, give me the picture where it starts where he had us circled. He had the men in purple circle, and he's making a mockery of us. A lot of people was mocking us out there. Right there. All right, what did he say? Read that. Darius McCray. Yeah, that's he the one that tried to erase his uh, his posts. Yeah. They was on him so hard, his stuff was going viral. He erased it. All right. Ever attend a TG parade? Watch out for them boys in purple. He said, and this is our first time ever just going down there like right. that. Right. He said, ever and put a laugh, and he think it's funny. Right. We just was around the corner saving a young brother's life who's been shot, and this nigga think it's funny. Yeah, I called him a nigga because that's what he acting like. Right. So this is he mockery. Said, yeah, this is yeah. mockery. He said, ever attend the Trinity Garden Parade? Watch out for the boys in purple. You damn right you better watch out for because we right. got the Bible with us. That's we right. got the prophets of God. Now go to the next. All right, now let's see what some people say. What Darren B. T. Bell say? Blow it up so he can see it. Darius McCray. Darren T. Bell, a false religion. So they laugh and they think we are we some kind of religious people. We the prophets of God. We are not really we 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 this this dang religion. Religion means to hold back and restrain. Right. And that's what black people been. We've been held back and we've been strained. Ain't nothing but confusion in religion. Right. What we teach is our history in the Bible and who we are, that we are the Israelites, we are the real Jews, and we must keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. According to who? Jay who said. What'd he say? Darren T. Bell, the Bible. The Bible only speaks that God said he was holy. That, that's the only religion that is spoken of him. Come on. Darren T. Bell, every other religion is a man-made religion, Baptist, Christian, etc. Bell, now according to the Bible, explain where God said that he was y'all religion. See, people don't understand. They need to just stop talking. That's it. Come on. Israel, God is not a religion, and he didn't give us religion. Exactly. He gave us laws that make up our culture. Yeah, the Mardi Gras is not our culture. Right. right. Hip-hop is not our culture. Right. right. R&B is not our culture. Twerking is not black culture. Right. Our culture is in the Bible, and this is law, statute, commandments. Marriage is our culture. Right. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, the black man marrying a black woman and stop being the biggest whore on earth. Yeah, the whole monk on earth. That's our culture. Right. Go back. Come on, read the other ones. He gave us heritage. All right, come on. Give me the other one. All right, Darius McCray. Blow it up for me, brother. All right, Clara Taylor says, what about the boys in purple? Uh-huh. They annoying. No, who, no, who said, come on, bro. Quit pushing buttons. All right. It says what? They annoying. So a girl, Sierra, actually said, what about the boys in purple? I ain't never heard of them. Who right. are these guys right. in Trinity God? Right. What about them? So Darius say they annoying. Mm. We just say the man life. That's how annoying we are. Right. Bring right. it out. Are you out your damn mind talking about we annoying because we got the Bible in our hand? Right. Trying to tell you to put that weed down that's killing you? You don't need you smoking all them damn chemicals? You know what I'm saying? Put the crack down that's killing us? Marry the black woman that's killing us? You know what I'm saying? Uh, raise your ch children because if you're not, it's killing us. Mm. Come on, Clara, uh, la Clara, Clara with a laughing face. Yeah, she laughing because she don't know head. no better. Right. See, everybody laughed. Sixty eight people laughed at them for right. it. Probably was more than that. This just when I screenshot at the Negro. Yeah. And then uh, what what uh, Jocelyn say? Jocelyn now? Tubbs as fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. She asked, uh, uh, yeah. She dragged man, that uh, one. Yeah, yeah. She dragged it. She think it's funny. They think it's funny when they see us. Come on. What did it say? Darius McCray. Uh, Ma Shakira Marie. And yet, there, there they are, gathered for Mardi Gras. Uh-huh. Sabrina Mass, they need to be hollering, stop the shooting. Did you hear this crap? That's how you know. Um, hey, that, that's the sister. Yeah, that's the yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you know people are pay, paying attention. And we're not... Um, 
Don't talk about Sister Sabrina. That was the sister we just had on. Said they need to be yelling, stop the shooting. Okay, come on. Brandy Alexandria. Right. They were worried about the wrong thing, for real. Uh-huh. Jada Reed. Well, you know what? So, sister, sister didn't know who we were then before she was right. um, posting this stuff. We're going to go to the next slide. Right. Sister, that's, Jada why Reed a, said, uh, yeah, that's why she gave the backstory. Yeah. Yeah. And the other sister said that they do that, too. Right. They, do, said, they do yell, uh, yeah. stop the shooting. You see that? Uh, she said, Sabrina said, where are we in? Yeah. And then she said, look up their classes, and that's when she did her homework. Right. Okay, all praise. Her, that's all right. we ask people to do their right. homework and yeah, look at that's them. That's it. So that's all it. praise because I, I guess, you know, Sister Sabrina, she's speaking out of frustration of all the shooting going right. on. No, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. Right. We understand. The Until hurt. we, I'm going to tell you now with all the shooting and stuff, we got to combat these radio stations and go at these rap labels. Uh, that's programming our children to do these things. They're being programmed to do this. Right. All right? They're being programmed. The damn white Jewish man who are saying they the Jew. Right. Yeah. Him. We got to go after them. Uh, if, uh, I, why, what I mean go after them, I mean we got to put in black minds, people minds to stop supporting their rappers. Right. right. When I say go after them, I'm talking about go after their pockets, meaning that they need to find another target. Stop paying black men to rap about shooting and killing one another, right. and your kids will stop killing one another. Right. If they come to original royalty and start programming their minds to love and take care of their kids and take care of their wives right. and to marry and stop being whoremongers and, you know, and talk about putting chains around the damn white man's neck, right. and then maybe they'll stop killing one another and try to put chains around the white man's right. neck. It's whatever they've been programmed to do, that's what they're going to do. Mm. All right? So our people got to wake up. All right, y'all, so... I think we are at the time limit, right? I think time is going out. Look, um, Lord's will, we're going to hit Mobile, Alabama hard again. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like going to um, – that was my first time going to Mobile uh, down that far. I've been to Alabama several times, but I've never been to the bottom. And the thing about it, it looks like everywhere. Damn. Right. Mobile yep. looked like Memphis. It looked like Jackson, Tennessee. It looked like Nashville. Everything yep. – it looked, it looked like uh, – uh, Greenwood, Mississippi. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like uh, uh, it looked like everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It looked like New Orleans. It looked like Baton Rouge. Why? That's because right. our people there, That's and right. we at the bottom of society, right. scraping and fighting and biting, trying to get out of uh, um, get off the bottom. All right. So I like going to Alabama. So I gotta go back. That's right. So all praises to the Most High, y'all. With that, we got a great end the show. We hope you enjoyed the show. Appreciate our guests who called in. Um, also, the water. Sister Sabrina Mass, uh, appreciate you calling. Uh, we be on every Wednesday, y'all. Every Wednesday at 6 p.m. We got different topics we go over. So subscribe to the channel so you can get a notification, all right, when we're on IUIC Nashville uh, Battle Axe Radio Show and to get in the classroom and to get um, um, camp videos, street teaching. Uh, you'll see us in the trenches uh, battling the crackheads right. and everything else. All right. Want everybody right now to take your phone out, right? Take your phone out. There's a QR screen, uh, uh, a QR code on the screen. Right now, what you looking at me for? All right, what you looking at? To, get your phone out, man. QR code on the screen. Take the survey. Help our show out. We need to see how we doing. You know what I'm saying? To enhance our national broadcasting, right? So take it out. All right, we're gonna give you a few more seconds. All right. Well, I thought he was, but you should have been on point when I said it the first time. If not, catch us next week, y'all. So with that, y'all, we're going to get ready to get out of here. Lord's will, we'll see y'all next um, next Wednesday. Stay tuned. You got uh, the Power Hour yes, sir. coming up. So you got another class for the grade to come on now, another radio show, which would be fire, too. You know what I'm saying? The brothers out of Phoenix, Arizona, by the uh, 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 my, my dear light skinned brothers out there, yes, all praise right. to the Most High. They bringing out the Word of God, man. The Northern Kingdom, uh, they getting it in. Shout out to Deacon Joshua and the men out there. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to IUIC Nashville YouTube. All right. So with that, y'all, we are gonna say shalom, Most High in Christ, bless.